Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your guy Darian. Of course, I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And on this channel, we talk about fragrances primarily and we throw some style tips in there for you as well. So if you like fragrance and fashion, looking good, smelling great, you found the right channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And take a quick second, if you don't mind, if it's not too much trouble, to make sure that you click the bell icon as well to ensure you get notified every time I upload a new video on the channel. So guys, on today's video, we're going to be talking about, or I will be talking about with you, uh, 10 of the top 10 fragrances that are appropriate for summer. So the top 10 summer fragrances of all time. Now, of course, a, a list like this is very subjective. These are some of the choices that I have made. You may have fragrances that you would put in this category as well. And if so, I'll invite you to go ahead and comment down in the comment section and tell me some of the fragrances that you have in your collection that you would deem to be one of the best summer fragrances of all time that you have in your collection. I would love to hear uh, what you guys would choose for some of your top favorites of all time as well. Now, this list will not replace my uh, yearly summer top 10 fragrance list that I normally do, but I thought it would be a good idea at this point in time because I've been collecting for a while now just to kind of look at an overall picture of my fragrance collection and choose 10 fragrances that I think would be 10 of my top choices of all time for the summer. Now, I'm not going way back into the early 90s, mid 90s and pulling fragrances. These are a little bit more up to date, more modern fragrances, but nonetheless, 10 that I think are worthy of the title. To be on a list like this, the top 10 summer fragrances of all time. So if you guys wanna know what I've chosen, you know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list. Starting with a fragrance from the house of Tom Ford. This one is called Neroli Portofino Aqua. Now, to me, this is a fragrance that does not really get mentioned too often. When you see other fragrance enthusiasts talking about fragrances on YouTube, definitely not on the YouTube platform, and I'm not sure why, but to me, this is a perfect summer fragrance. This is one that you can really just spray, honestly, as liberally as you would like and go out into the world and you're going to smell absolutely amazing. You're going to smell fantastic with this one right here. Um, I guess the hint for some people sometimes that they talk about performance, but again, most fragrances that you find that are great in the summertime aren't really performance monsters. So. I tend to give a little bit more of a pass to summer fragrances when we start talking about the whole issue of performance. But this is a beautiful, clean, soapy fragrance. It has neroli, orange blossom, petit grain. It has a nice kind of clean, musky uh, dry down as well. But I love this stuff, man. Really clean, fresh, and soapy. So those are the kind of fragrances that I like to wear in the summertime. And I really feel like this is one of you haven't put your nose on it, you would love. Again, from the house of Tom Ford, this is Neroli Portofino Aqua. All right, guys, coming in at the ninth spot on this list, this fragrance comes from the house of Versace, and this one is called Versace Man O Fresh. Versace Man O Fresh. Now, I have talked a lot about this fragrance on this channel, and you guys can see, again, I always mention this, I don't have a whole lot of this fragrance left. Just like Tom Ford and Neroli Portofino, this is one that I can just really spray as liberally as I would like. So just spray it. It just smells great in the summertime. It's really refreshing. Now the star note in this fragrance is a star fruit note, carambola. And it just gives a very unique twist to this fragrance. It really uh, is fruity in the opening, but then you have a really spicy mid in this fragrance that I really like. But it's never, of course, goes too, not never goes too strong or too overbearing with the spices in the fragrance, just the right amount to give it some character for a summer fragrance. And I love this stuff. One I always have in my collection and I put it in my top 10 for a reason. From the house of Versace, this is Versace Man Eau Fresh. All right guys, coming in at the 10th spot on this list, this fragrance comes from the house of Atelier Cologne and this is called Cedrat Innervrant. Cedrat Innervrant. 
Man, this thing right here is so refreshing and uplifting. It smells just like a lime mojito. That's exactly what this smells like. Um, again, bergamot, lime are some of the uh, main notes in the opening of this fragrance, and I absolutely adore this one. It has some elemi um, as it starts to dry down. Oh man, this stuff is just absolutely gorgeous. And the thing I love about this one as well, uh, being a niche brand, this is a very, uh, in my opinion, comparatively speaking to a lot of other niche fragrances, this is very, very affordable. Um, so guys, sincerely, if you want something that's really refreshing and uplifting, which again, I think is perfect characteristics to be associated with fragrances that you wear when it's hot outside, please check this one out from the house, from the house of Atelier Cologne. This is called Sidrat in a Rant. All right, and coming in at the seventh spot on this list, this fragrance comes from the house of Mancera, and this one is called Sicily. Sicily from the house of Mancera, man. This thing is mouth-watering good. If you like fragrances that have fruity accords in it, then you, <laughs> oh my God. Seriously, your mouth can start to water when you smell Sicily, it is so good in the opening. I think there's a melange of citrus notes in the opening of this. You have orange, you have peach, apple, pineapple. Oh man, it just smells so good. Again, a beautiful citrus aromatic fragrance that, again, if you're just talking about the summertime, it's really, really hard to beat a scent DNA like this. And again, something I love about it is it comes from the House of Mancera, so you get great performance for a summer fragrance. So. Guys, if you never smell this one, I highly recommend you check this out from the House of Mancera. This one is called Sicily. All right, and coming in at the sixth spot on this list, this fragrance comes from the House of Creed, and this is Millicene Imperial. Millicene Imperial. Now, this batch that I have is from 2015, I think it is. And of course, you can see this is a four ounce bottle. So to me, this is still when uh, <clears throat> Creed was really putting out quality fragrances and this one right here man is just this is just so good you can't really talk about nice uh, or top 10 summer fragrances of all time and Creed not be on the list um, really I could do a top five Creed fragrances for summer of all time maybe even a top 10 <clears throat> and I think I would be justified in doing such a list because they have so many great offerings that are good to wear in the summertime this is just one of the best to me very iconic beautiful you talk about fragrances that are really i give you quality smelling ingredients at least at this time for sure the sea salt in this uh that salty watermelon aquatic vibe that everybody talks about is so ever present in this batch of millicene imperial and again we're talking about summer fragrances some of the best of all time this is one of the best of all time for sure from the house of creed this one is called millicene imperial all right guys we made it into the top five fragrances on this list and coming in at the fifth spot this fragrance comes from the house of chanel and this is chanel allure Om edition blanche chanel allure Om edition blanche and guys everybody talks about this fragrance when it comes to the summertime and this is just oh man it's so good it's so 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 good because <clears throat> it, it has that contrast in it you have the nice citrus opening that has bergamot and lemon very prominent lemon note now people talk about this smelling like a lemon meringue pie which again i am not confirming nor denying that because i don't know i guess as i always say a lemon meringue pie you get the sweetness of well the sweetness from the vanilla uh, and there's the tonka bean, the sandalwood, that creaminess. And then you have, of course, the lemon opening. Maybe that's where that comparison comes from, I'm sure. But uh, aside from that, this is just one of the best citrus fragrances, in my opinion, to wear in the summertime. And I do love that, that nice creaminess that, and sweetness that comes from, as I said, sandalwood gives it creaminess. And you have sweetness from tonka bean and vanilla. But it's perfectly balanced because it's not... Too sweet it never becomes cloying it just gives it the right amount of sweetness and creaminess those notes to make it a unique fragrance to wear in the summertime so man one of my all-time favorites from the house of chanel this is chanel allure on edition blanche all right guys coming in at the fourth spot on this list of top 10 summer fragrances of all time this one comes from the house of Le labo and this of course is bergamot 22. 
Bergamot 22. Now this one, I'm gonna have to get another bottle soon because I'm really, really low. But uh, what separates and differentiates this one from other Bergamot fragrances is the quality. Uh, you start to really see that, uh, especially summertime fragrances, citrus fragrance based, uh, fragrances that are citrus based or floral based, you start to really see a lot of the same notes being used, a lot of the same type of accords. And oftentimes that's what draws comparisons for people with certain fragrances saying this smells like this. But anytime you have fragrances where notes like bergamot are this prominent, they're going to draw uh, similarity comparisons. But again, what differentiates this one to me is the quality of the ingredients used in bergamot 22. Some familiar faces, bergamot, you have orange blossom, um, you have petit grain, but I love the kind of musky, spicy dry down of Bergamot 22. It makes it more of a kind of a, <clears throat> uh, gives it some character, more of a manly type of Bergamot fragrance to wear in the uh, summertime. Gives it some, some, some quality and some, some distinguishable characteristics that I really enjoy. So check this one out if you've never done it. From the house of Le Labo, this is Bergamot 22. All right guys, coming in at the third spot, this is the best lemon base fragrance I've ever smelled in my life from the house of Perfumo Roma. This is called Aqua Viva. Let me turn that around. This is called Aqua Viva. And man, if you like the note of a lemon, you have to put your nose on this. Simply put, this is one of the most realistic smelling uh, lemon based fragrance I've, fragrances I've ever put my nose on. This stuff is so realistic when you talk about imagine a freshly squeezed lemon and that's what you get and on the dry down it just kind of kind of has this nice woody dry down that i really love i think cedar wood in the, is in this maybe even uh labdenum as well but man this stuff is amazing and just like every other fragrance from the house of perfume aroma uh it has great longevity again so you smell like a freshly squeezed lemon with a little hit of, of sweetness and woodiness on the dry down all day long because they have a very high con oil concentration in fragrances from this house love this stuff really could have been these number uh, one through three could have been interchangeable but for right now i put it at number three from the house of perfume aroma this is called aqua viva all right ladies and gentlemen and coming in at the number two spot this fragrance comes from the house of creed we're going back to the House of Creed, and this one is called Virgin Island Water. Virgin Island Water. This fragrance is number two because it has so many memories attached to it. It has a very transportive uh, element to it. Uh, I talk about this all the time when I discuss this fragrance. This can really take me to one of my favorite vacation destinations. And that's what I love about this fragrance the ability for it to transport me from wherever i am to being on a vacation because that's what this is it's a vacation in a bottle coconut is in this lime uh just a beautiful fragrance and again i just would say coconut is the main note and i just absolutely love this stuff it as you can see i use it often i always tell you guys especially for somebody like me that has as many fragrances as i have I put huge dents in this fragrance when summertime comes for good reason. Definitely deserving of a spot on a list like this. Top summer fragrances of all time. The number two spot for me goes to this one from the House of Creed. This is Virgin Island Water. All right, guys, and coming in at the number one spot on this list, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the bottle from the House of Zierjoff. This is Zierjoff Neo. Zierjoff Neo. And simply put, I was explaining to you guys earlier that when you get um, and start to deal with fragrances that are heavy on the citrus elements, <clears throat> especially when you start to talk about notes like this, like Neroli, especially Neroli, Petit Grain, and Orange Blossom, because they're so close as it relates to the scent profile. And when you start to have those notes in fragrances, which a lot of fragrances for summer time have, <clears throat> you start to draw the comparisons. And while there are a lot of fragrances that initially uh, or even momentarily may think, make you think about George Neo. none of them quite gets here when you talk about the quality proposition. This, to me, is one of the most and best uh, fragrances I've ever smelled in my life when you start talking about quality. 
you can tell that there were quality ingredients that went inside this small bottle. And although it's small, it packs a huge punch. No fragrance, no citrus fragrance quite gets here to me in the quality proposition. And that's why it came in at the number one spot from the house of Jerjoff. This is Jerjoff Neo. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this list today as I gave you 10 of the top 10 summer fragrances of all time from my collection. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos because, of course, I know you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and go ahead and share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or... You know, just may find me entertaining because I'm your guy, Darian, the bow tie fragrance guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.